Hi, I'm Aubrey. Hi, I'm Kathleen. I'm a former Christian deconstructing and figuring out what works for me. And I'm a former Mormon turned atheist. Welcome to the CNA podcast. Let's dive in. Hey guys, have you left a review for our podcast yet? Head over to wherever you listen to your podcast and do that right now. And follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Christian and the Atheist. Check us out on Patreon for ad-free content. And speaking of ads, if you or your business would like to sponsor The Christian and the Atheist podcast, feel free to contact us to get started. Welcome to another episode of Exploring God. Today we get to sit down with Rabbi Jasper and talk about Judaism. So I'm saying Judaism. How do you say it? Judaism. Okay, Yay. so yeah. have you heard Judaism? I have. Just, I think that's an accent thing. Oh. Is it? Okay, I was yeah. like... Judaism. I was thinking about it earlier today, and I was like, I need to know how to say this right. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so with this series, we really got to explore different types of worship. And so with our audience, I'm excited to bring in another aspect to that, because I know like a lot about Christianity. She knows a lot about Mormonism. Um, I know a lot about Judaism. Yay! And That's what we hope. <laughs> so, yeah, because we don't know that much about Judaism. Because I, yeah, as a Christian, I'm going to ask the craziest questions. I say crazy, they're really not. But <laughs> just out of like, okay, so let's get started. Let's See not this. start asking too many questions before we get, like get in the flow of things. Yes. So how long have you been a rabbi? I have been a rabbi for a little over a year and a half. Okay. okay. Yeah. Will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So as I said, the word accent, you might guess I'm from the suburbs of Chicago. Yay. Are you, are you from Chicago? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> so I have family that my parents lived in Chicago for years and okay. I have family from northern yeah, Illinois, Michigan, yeah. Indiana, we love that kind of thing. So, and yeah. then the previous minister, or minister that we just recorded with, he's from Chicago. Oh, there yeah. you go. So that's yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm from Chicago. Um, I have an older brother, um, and I went to Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois, where I studied public relations and business management. Mm, cool. Had no idea that I was going to be a rabbi. Um, but yeah? yeah, not a clue. Actually, that's, I was maybe lying to myself a little bit. Right, I can understand <laughs> you know? that. Yeah. Um, then I moved to Cincinnati, uh, where my rabbinical school was, but instead got a master's in Judaic studies from the University of Cincinnati. Cool. Um, and then I began rabbinical school. The first year was in Israel, so I lived in Israel for a year. Wow, oh, that's, that's great. so cool. Yeah. Did you love it? Was it's it an experience? It's my favorite place in the world. That's Ooh. so cool. Cool. Yeah. cool favorite place in the world. I would go back in a minute. Nice. Um, and then I moved back to Cincinnati and finished my four extra years of rabbinical school. Wow. And then I moved out here. That's wow. a lot of schooling. Ten years of higher education. Wow. I'm tired. Smarty pants. <laughs> take a, take a Yeah, break. have a nap. Have <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got married the day after I became a rabbi. Mm -hmm. So then we went on our honeymoon for three and a half weeks. And that nice. was my nap. We went, to nice. we went to Thailand, <gasps> where it was $8 for a massage for a full hour, so <gasps> I got, like, a lot of relaxation. Like a dream. Happy. Oh, yeah. It was fabulous. I love that. I want to go to Thailand. Food and massage, that's a hell it was, it was. It was heaven on earth. <laughs> yeah. It was great. Sounds amazing. Yeah. It Sounds amazing. Good. Three weeks, though. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. How do you come back from that? <laughs> Not happy. No, no very happy because I was starting my job here. But yeah. um, it, it was definitely hard. It was it was very much needed both to be with my spouse yeah. and to have, have a vacation much after needed 10 break. years of education. Yeah. yeah. So what brought you to Oklahoma? Work. Yeah. Temple Israel. Just, uh, uh, I went through the placement process mm -hmm. where I interviewed them. They interviewed me to see if it would be a good match. And Temple Israel and Tulsa turned out to be the perfect match for me. Perfect. And I could still say that after a year and a half. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I love that. I'm glad you ended up here. Me too. Yeah. So you said you didn't expect yourself to be a rabbi. What? No. What, what was the pathway to getting you there? 
Um, well, I originally wanted to be a district attorney mm. um, because I really like Law and Order SVU. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm that true crime junkie oh, kind yeah. of person. Oh, yeah, me too. Love it. <laughs> All day, every day. I might be. There's something maybe wrong with me. It's okay. <laughs> I fall asleep listening yeah. to true crime. Yeah. I, there is something it's, wrong with me. Yeah. I'm it's not weird. that girl. <laughs> no, she's not. It's okay. <laughs> and I know enough for the both of us. Right. <laughs> and so when I was in school, I was looking for pre-law mm-hmm. um, the sheet of majors I could take but bless me I'm very ADHD and I couldn't find it so I found public <laughs> relations like on that yeah like, right there and I was like cool that seems fun <laughs> and so I took that yeah and turns out I liked it but but not for the rest of my life mm-hmm. and I had a rabbi during college who convinced me during all four years to um, go into the rabbinate and mm. I finally listened second semester senior year of college when I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you feel that's the time when you're like, it might be crunch time. I might need a plan. Right. <laughs> Maybe. And that became my only plan. No plan B. Yeah. Hell, hey, I'm glad it's working out. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, like, that's so true to ADHD, though. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I have no idea to this day what I want to be when I grow up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 35 almost. Like... <laughs> Yeah, but, but, but I'm mean, dirty. But yeah. am I an adult? I I don't yeah. know. I have a career. I'm I mean, married. Yeah. I have a dog. I don't. Yeah. I feel like I walk yeah. around my life, and there's. I've probably said this on the show before, but I, you know, I have teenage kids, and I walk around. Sometimes I look at them, and I'm like, Oh my god, I'm the adult. I'm in charge. <laughs> no, like, I don't want to do this. Did this. Who planned this? It was me. I did this. Right. Like, yeah, oh boy. it's crazy. So. <laughs> Something that is really amazing to me about you is that you're part of the queer community. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. And you get to be a rabbi. So um, I don't like to have to harp on this a lot, but from where I came from, that's not a thing. Yeah, it's so sad. It's It's not really sad. In a lot of mainstream Christianity, that would be very new and crazy. I'm not surprised, but that, that makes me sad. Yeah. So something like you telling us that you're part of the queer community is like, green flag of course but also yes. like let's showcase like how judaism judaism sorry is very um affirming not just welcoming but affirming like yeah. that's a huge thing so can you kind of tell us because i want to like bring that up so what is the different like so christianity has a passage about how it's not a thing mm-hmm. i don't even want to give light to it it's like whatever but does Juda- judaism have anything like that and they just have evolved from it or? um so it comes down to reading it in its original okay. language and understanding the context okay right um you know i would say to people who like to cherry pick mm-hmm the the bible Hmm. hey are you stoning your child for being disobedient because that's there it is there's a lot of things there right like are you enjoying your bacon cheeseburger after church because that's there there are so many passages you can cherry pick yeah but what about the one that says that we're made in god's image (gasps) right what about the one where it talks about the special relationship David had with Jonathan. However, <laughs> you want to read that, yeah. queer or otherwise, mm-hmm. right? Definitely. There, what about if you want to talk about polyamory? Mm-hmm. What about the fact that Jacob had many wives, mm-hmm. right? Leah and Rachel, and who knows Shif, how many of right? their yeah. Not Shif, Rampo. Oh, that's Exodus, right? Bill Han Zilpa, right? Yeah. There's so many different passages that shed light on love mm-hmm. and just being kind to one another yeah that that one passage that shall not be named mm-hmm. right that's that's one line and that's taken out of context it, it yeah it doesn't mean what i apologize that most christians try to make it out to me yeah right and so let's let's cherry pick some passages that are about love yeah instead. that's where i stand like i get a lot of crap about the cherry picking that I was doing and I'm like but you're doing it too and you're not acknowledging it like there's yeah, certain right. things but if if you're reading the bible in any way in this day and age 
or any religious text that was written thousands of years ago, there's going to have to be some cherry picking just because this was a text that was written thousands of years ago for a time that doesn't exist anymore. So the cool thing about Judaism is that Judaism is very much a living, breathing Mm. religion. So we have the Tanakh, which Mm -hmm. is the Torah, the uh, prophets, and the writings, Mm -hmm. right? But then we also have... What I like to call the addendums, right? Okay. So you have things like the Mishnah, the Talmud, the Shulchan Aruch, and these are log codes. These are rabbis who say, hey, this is the Torah. What does it mean? How does this apply mm-hmm. to our lives today? Mm-hmm. Right. And that work is still being done. In Judaism, we're told to question everything. Don't take anything for face value. If you're not questioning it, you're not doing Judaism, right? Mm, that's um, cool. It's, it's why the, the joke or the stereotype of Jews love to argue comes into play. Because we do. We love to argue. We want yeah. to understand the deeper meaning and how it applies to us. And so there are still rabbis who are looking at these texts and saying, okay, but how do they apply to today? Mm-hmm. How does that apply to 2023 yeah. living in Tulsa, Oklahoma? It's right. very different than living in the diaspora, living as a nomadic tribes mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. Um, you know, 5,000 years ago. Yeah. It's just different. For sure. So you brought up all these books of worship. How do you, so do you have the Holy Bible? Uh, yeah, we just call it the Bible or the Tanakh. That's okay. a Hebrew word. Okay. I and know then, the Torah, isn't that the first five books of the like what Christians would call the Old Old Testament. Yeah, so we don't okay. call it the Old Testament because right. we don't have the New Testament, so we just right. call it the Bible, okay. but Tanakh. Yeah. Okay, so I know nothing. I apologize. <laughs> so, okay. So what are some major differing things between Judaism and Christianity? Ooh, that's a it's very a, big question. That's a whole so podcast. We'll start with the obvious. <laughs> yeah. uh, we don't accept Jesus as the Messiah. Okay. Do you believe that Jesus was a real person or is it just sort of like this is a fable, this is a real person we know or maybe not or how does that? There's there's no canonization in Judaism about that. I think it's person or person. I think he was probably a dude. I believe he existed. Sure. I don't think that he was the Messiah. I don't think that um, he was necessarily a prophet. Um, I think he had lovely ideas, Mm -hmm. um, but that would probably be the biggest one okay um we don't have the new testament Mm -hmm. so like he doesn't exist in so there's no new testament no at all so he's like basically doesn't exist in any of the he doesn't exist at all in yeah judaism yeah i had no idea sorry i remember some like christian guy (laughs) saying some offhand thing about how something about Jewish people and Jesus and how it just doesn't mix. It wasn't anything bad, but I was like, I'm so confused thinking we're all Christians and then hearing in the Bible about Jewish people. You know what I mean? Yeah, so Christians love to throw out, yeah, but Jesus was a Jew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a very different Judaism than it was today. Right. funny. Right. Well, and there's, I do know, not to take off of the topic because there's, I still want you to keep going on this issue, but there are different sects of Judaism as well. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So right now you're sitting in a reform congregation. Right. Um, so the the three biggest sects of Judaism is reform, conservative, and orthodox. Mm-hmm. The orthodox being the most stringent on following the laws. Mm-hmm. In Hebrew, we call them halachot, the laws. Okay. Um, and then reform being the one that does... Most of the work of trying to combine modernity with tradition. Okay. Because I know, you know, there's a, I've seen, you know, pictures of, a lot of times it's in big cities like New York City mm-hmm. and there's yeah. there's um, Orthodox Jewish men who have specific hairstyles and, sure. and clothing and so, and that's different than Absolutely. what you're doing. And that's, that's a bit of a conversation happening right. within... Um, The reform movement is that is the typical stereotype of Mm -hmm. what somebody thinks of when they think of a Jew is the the man with the long gray beard, Mm -hmm. the black hat, they're called payas, the curly cues on the side, right? Wearing a black suit. Mm -hmm. But here I am. Yeah. I'm wearing jeans. I I put on a blouse for y'all. It's Um, cute. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) But yeah. Um, I'm queer, right? Mm -hmm. Being a Jew looks very different person or person and right. how they want to express yeah. Judaism. I think a lot of religious faith is like there's different yes. like like there's fundamentalist Christians that I would never when I was Christian like be and I'm sorry to say it like that if you didn't know. <laughs> This is the Christian and the Atheist podcast, but... Go listen to some episodes in the last few months. You'll you'll figure it out. I Catch feel up, Christian, but... 
I agree with the Jesus thing. I don't know, man. There's a whole lot. Um, some other big differences is in Judaism, we absolutely don't proselytize. Mm. Okay. Um, not even slightly. In fact, when somebody comes to us seeking conversion, we're supposed to turn them away three times. Oh. We have to see that they actually do yeah. want to become a Jew because, you know, there's a lot of anti-Semitism in the yeah. world. A lot yeah. Of I just want to bring that up. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's It's not an easy religion to be a part of. You can't just be... A Jew by yourself. You have right. to be a part of a community. Yeah. And so um, we really want to make sure that someone is ready to be a part of the Jewish faith. So, yeah, we we absolutely don't proselytize anybody. Um, mm, I like that. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of differences. Yeah. yeah. So it's easier if you're being born into it? No, I wouldn't say that. I'm just like, sorry. Yeah, I, no, it's <laughs> fine. I wouldn't say that. I think everybody is on their own path. I think yeah. some people that are born into it don't always resonate. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Of course. Um, There's different people yeah. can have their own type of journey. Absolutely. <laughs> so say someone wanted to convert. Yeah. So you said you turn away three times. <clears throat> That's traditional. We mm-hmm. we don't technically do that here at Temple Israel. Okay. Um, we do, do you pass the smell test? Like, do you sound <laughs> like this is something that you want to do? Right. So you do that to kind of protect the community? Protect the community and themselves. Yeah. You know, some people are on a spiritual path. There's a lot of religious trauma yeah. in yeah. Tulsa. And so some people... <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> yes, there is, right? And so some people even though they face religious trauma, they're still deeply spiritual. Mm -hmm. And so they're trying to find their spiritual home and they're like, oh, cool, Jesus was a Jew. I'm going to go check out the Jews. Not realizing it's a very different religion than what is depicted in the New Testament. Right. And so as much as they might not be a right fit for our community, we might not be a right fit for them. Right. So it's it's just making sure it's a good relationship. That's good. So I think we need to take a step back. Can you explain Judaism? Oh, another big question. It is. <laughs> another and I'm whole so sorry. podcast in itself. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that, but that like, sounds like 10 years of higher education. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking to two people that attended Christian churches. Yeah. Can you, like, in a nutshell? Yeah, I let know... me see if I could spark notes this for yes. you. For yeah. A I know that's so, a hard thing to do. Yeah. And, you know. So, uh, first and foremost, we're a monotheistic religion. Mm-hmm. We believe in only one God. How Christianity has the Trinity, we do mm-hmm. not have that. Mm-hmm. We just have the one God. Um, we don't have a pronunciation for that God. Okay. Um, we typically go with Adonai, which is the Hebrew word. If you were to modern translate it, it would mean my Lord, but okay. it's really just come to be synonymous with the name mm. of God that we gotcha. use. Um, Judaism is as much a religion as it is a culture. Mm-hmm. So... You know, if I were to mention Jewish foods, Mm. I'm sure something comes to Mm -hmm. mind, Mm -hmm. right? Whether Mm -hmm. it's matzo ball soup or Mm -hmm. brisket, black and white cookies, right? The Jewish deli, right? We're very much a culture as well. We have a living language, right? We have Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Um, We have a connection to our homeland, which is Israel. Um, Within Judaism, we have several pillars that we're trying to... Um, work towards, and that's Torah, so the study of our scriptures, Torah. We have worship, so that's prayer. And then we have loving deeds, and this Mm. all comes from the book of Pirkei, about the ethics of our forefathers. Mm. And the loving deeds, uh, that's a term that we use, tikkun olam, which means repairing the world. Mm. So that's social justice work. So doing whatever we can to make the world better today than it was yesterday. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I left the church that I was born in is I felt that that aspect of my religion was very lacking. Sure. And I was, that troubled me. And I had a hard time reconciling with, you know, what I had always been taught was this is the truth with what was actually happening in the world. And so that's, that's a big, like, that's a thing for me. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, And then probably the only other big difference that I could you know, point out the moment is how Christianity has the, the, the beliefs of heaven and hell. Mm -hmm. We don't in Judaism. Mm -hmm. So we don't have hell. Um, and heaven, we don't have either. We haven't said what's called Olam Chaba, the world to come, um, which is after the Messiah comes and does an ingathering of all the Jews to, Mm -hmm. to Israel. But we really don't focus on that. Judaism is much more about the here and now doing what we can to, 
make the world better now Mm -hmm. rather than doing it for the sake of trying to get into heaven or Olam Haba. It feels like a very humanistic approach yeah. to the world. Absolutely. Yeah. It's 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 not a reward system. Yeah. Judaism is not about reward. Um, we sure we have guilt. We have Jewish guilt. It's it's <laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> it, but it comes more in the 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 bubby being like, mm. oh, you didn't call me. Mm-hmm. Bubby is sorry. That's a Yiddish word for grandma. Yeah. Right. Like oh, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> yeah. Right. You didn't call me in like two days. I'm yeah. just gonna sit over here and perish. <laughs> right. um, but it's not the guilt of oh, you didn't come to services. How right. dare you? Mm, right. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. So why do you think there's such a thing as anti-Semitism? <laughs> so Semite is the word for that region. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. Anti-Semitism. <laughs> Ooh, you are, you are asking big questions. I yeah. really am, and I apologize that they're so big, and I know that there's no way to cover them fully. Right. Yeah. So to our audience... If you haven't done your homework, I, I did research on it because, mm-hmm. I mean, it became apparent because, of course, the Holocaust. But, like, here and now, we've got big names, Kanye West, deciding to oh, yeah. say things on Twitter. And then Ooh. it's dangerous. It's dangerous it's, and it's not yeah. okay. So it does need That'd to be, be talked about. Well, and there is the aspect also of, you know, everybody, everybody knows about the Holocaust, but there was... Before the Holocaust, yes. that wasn't the first it's, it's not, huge. It's, there's pogroms going back you. thousands and thousands of yes. years. The Black Death was a huge yeah. like. Right. <laughs> they blame the Jews on that, right? Yeah. There's tons of. Right. We just like to wash our hands. We have right. a ritual washing our hands. Yeah, that we, was a big thing. They were we like, okay. <laughs> they were like, I'm not drinking from that. Well, there's a dead chicken in it. That's gross. <laughs> right. And everyone was like, ah, like there's there's so much history <laughs> of anti-Semitism in the world, and it's it's obviously dangerous for the here and now and proved dangerous for for all these thousands of years as well but so anti-semitism is actually a more recent term Mm. right um and it was happening in the leads up to the holocaust yeah but hatred of jews has been around forever i mean look at shakespeare yeah Mm -hmm. the merchant of venice yeah right look at all the pogroms Mm -hmm. right russia italy Right? There's so many times that um, there has been just hatred against mm-hmm. Jews. And, you know, you ask me, why is there anti-Semitism? God, I wish I could just pinpoint it. Yeah. I, you know. <laughs> Might be a nice thing to know. It would, to be, just... it would be great. You know, yeah. as Jews, we have a tendency to be seen as other. Mm. We're not quite white. Yeah. We're certainly not black. Mm-hmm. We're we're not brown, but we're we're not quite white, mm. right? We eat different foods. Mm-hmm. We dress a little differently. Mm-hmm. We sound a little differently. We use different isms, mm-hmm. right? I say Bubby, and thinking you mm-hmm. know, ah, everybody knows who Bubby is, but right. I have to remember I have to translate that, mm-hmm. yeah, right? And the other is very scary for people. It's threatening, mm-hmm. right? It's it, yeah, it's it's very threatening. And so it's easier to put the other over here, mm. to put them in a little box or a ghetto. Yeah. Right? And say, okay, you're going to live over here and we're not going to see you. But you still have to contribute to society. So we're going to give you the worst jobs possible. And then be mad at you for doing that job. And then be mad at us for doing that job well. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, so exactly. Jews became money lenders yeah. because that was the only job that was available. But Jews have a policy where we don't charge interest to fellow Jews. Usury. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, uh, yeah, people didn't like that. And then people got mad because it's easy to hate the money lender when mm-hmm. they come knocking at your door wondering where mm-hmm. the money they lent yeah. you is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? It's easy to get mad at the Jew who you've invited to your house for dinner to celebrate your customs, but then you've served a Christmas ham. And, they can't, and they, we can't eat that Christmas that. ham, yeah. mm-hmm. right? And now you're insulted. Mm. You worked so hard. You slaved over it. It's a honey ham. It's delicious. It's juicy. It's great. And we're not going to eat it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So it's basically an intolerance because of differences. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we've and seen ignorance. that. A lot of ignorance, ignorance, right? Yes. It's a lot of 
yeah, but Jesus was a Jew, so why aren't you accepting Jesus? Well, it's a like... lot of, you killed Jesus. Yeah. We did not. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was about to we say. We did not <laughs> kill Jesus. That's a I big... know, hot take. <laughs> I we feel like that's that. a lot of fear that people have is this mindset of, at least in Christianity, Jesus being the end all, beat all, this is the guy that everybody loves. And here's a group of people that supposedly was like, mm mm. No way, not got that guy. And so there's that that mindset of like, oh, they're against my beliefs. When in reality, we're they just out here doing our thing. They're just believing something different than you are. It's yeah. being other isn't bad. Being be, believing different, eating different, dressing different, looking different is just how the world works. Absolutely. It, and if it didn't, it'd be a real boring place. And, and we're really not sad. over here trying to push our belief on you. No, we're the just... only people who do that. Of course, it is. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I can. <laughs> <laughs> right, but yes. I. Right, yeah. we're just over here doing our thing. Yeah. And you know, we, I said this, I, we, we just celebrated some big holidays, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. Mm-hmm, and I mm-hmm. said in my Rosh Hashanah sermon, the hypocrisies that Jews are forced to live with in the mm-hmm. world, right? Where to be proud of who we are, but not so proud because then we're accused of controlling Hollywood. Right. We're supposed to stand up for hate in the world and supposed to, you know, fight against intolerance. But not be so loud lest we're told that we're controlling the government. Mm -hmm. We're told that we're controlling the weather. We have a space laser. What? A Jewish space laser. No, we don't. If I I controlled the weather, I promise you it wouldn't be 105 degrees out. Right? I'm like, like, I promise you. I'd do a way better job. Could we maybe get someone to control the weather? Like, it sounds like you do a great job. It sounds nice. I'm just saying. Right? What are we talking about here? There's a lot of hypocrisies about what it means to be a Jew. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be proud of who we are but then when ye the artist formerly known as kanye yeah. goes off and says some anti-semitic mm-hmm. bull mm-hmm. right we're supposed to not be so defensive about it yeah but we are because we know what it's like mm-hmm. when this rhetoric happens mm-hmm. yeah it's dangerous it's incredibly dangerous and it feels very similar to to Previous decade. <laughs> Maybe like 1930s Germany. Right? <laughs> Crazy. And history has a way of repeating itself. Yeah, yeah. And we're scared. Mm-hmm. We're very scared. So what do you do to protect your community? Well, at all times we have a security guard mm-hmm. Good. Um, at Temple Israel who is armed and mm-hmm. is out protecting us. We have a lot of security measures. We are fully equipped with cameras. Um, we work very closely with the police department. Mm. In fact, the senior rabbi here is the, uh, one of the police chaplains. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have a very good working relationship with the police. Yeah. And we also take great consideration into what programs we're going to do, how visible we are in the community. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll march in pride. We'll march in Mm -hmm. the MLK parade. Um, but we have to think about what we're going to pass out, who we might encounter, what kind of language. Luckily, Tulsa is, for the most part, or at least in my experience, a pretty affirming place. Mm -hmm. We haven't really run into too many issues. That's good. Pardon me. But um, you still have to be very cautious. Yeah. Constant vigilance. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I wish it wasn't the case because it does sound exhausting. Right? Like, my best example I could think of is... Can you just walk into any church? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you have to. Depends on the church. But for the most part, yeah. you can, the doors are open, right? You can yeah. just walk right in and sit in the pews. Um, yeah. 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 That Especially is on never, Sundays. That is never the case at a Jewish temple. Okay. Yeah. Not only do we have a police officer, not only do we have cameras, our doors are magnetically locked mm-hmm. so that you have to be bussed in. And then on top of it, we have like three sets of greeters before you even make it into the sanctuary. Mm, so right. we have put eyes on every single person that has walked that's through our good. doors. That's good. Yeah. But it's, no, that's, it's, 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 it's that's good not that how you're it safe, be. but it's yeah. not how it should be. Exactly. No. Yeah. I say that's good out of the keeping you guys p- protected yeah. in your congregation, but it's yeah. like. I went to a synagogue in Greece. I was visiting okay. Greece with a friend. Um, in Athens, and I'm the most me that I will ever be. So I was like, it's Friday night. That's when yeah. Shabbat is. That's when the Let's Sabbath is. It. I'm going to go to services. I'm in Athens. Why not? Mm-hmm. I go there, and they're like, we didn't know that you're coming. Mm. No, you can't come in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, are you, what do you mean? I didn't know I was coming. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <I know. laughs> right? And they're like, okay, let me see your passport. 
mm-hmm. almost like oh my gosh and so they're like is, where like, are you extreme measures where are you studying i was yeah. like i am studying at a seminary in israel like yeah. i promise you like i know the language here's some like fun keywords is there like a password <laughs> to get in here eventually i was able to convince them that i was a safe person they yeah. let me wow. in but it took like almost an hour and them having to communicate with a bunch of different people mm-hmm. i missed half the service mm. and then i got invited to someone's house for lunch and it was great right yeah. but wow yeah you can't just walk in yeah to any congregation just to keep everybody safe it's mm-hmm. very unfortunate that that has to be the case anti-semitism is really real yeah mm-hmm. um in 2018 there was a shooting at the tree mm-hmm. of life synagogue mm-hmm. in pittsburgh mm-hmm. um killing a lot of jews just because of misinformation yeah um this is a reality that we all live in mm-hmm. yeah so the Christian response to that would be like, do you guys pray about this? Or is that how you like when like for me, whenever I feel fear or anxiety about something, I go to God and pray. So how do uh, Jewish people handle like in their spirituality? Like what is your steps to sure. finding comfort with your spirituality? So, of course, we have prayers. We have a right. prayer for everything. You name it. We have a prayer after you go to the bathroom. We've got a prayer for everything. We sure do. We have a prayer for everything. Um, But more than that, we have a phrase that was given to us by um, Rabbi Joshua Heschel, Mm -hmm. Abraham Joshua Heschel. My apologies, Abraham Joshua Heschel. That says that we need to pray with our feet. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to just say thoughts and prayers. Mm -hmm. That doesn't do anything, (laughs) right? Thoughts and prayers doesn't stop the kid who just Mm -hmm. got killed at a school shooting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praying with your feet is going to your Congress. Mm-hmm. And praying with your feet is going to city council meetings. It's voting. It's it's writing to your legislators. It's doing the things that you need to do to do tikkun olam, to repair the world. Right. That's what it actually means. Tikkun olam, repair the world. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that. sure, we have prayers. We have prayers remembering those that have passed away. Yeah. We have prayers for those that are sick. We have prayers marking this time and location right but it's it that's not where it ends yeah it's just the beginning yeah you have to actually do something about it amen <laughs> what Can I get an amen yes <laughs> yeah i love it's, that you just said it. amen sorry <laughs> it's like i've seen i think you have the shirt it says yeah i have the it, it says a new shirt it says thoughts and prayers crossed out and it's what is policy, it? And, policy change. and change yeah yeah I so. saw a shirt in Cincinnati when I was living there that was um, the image of a gun with thoughts and prayers written yeah. in that. And I was like, oof, yeah. truth. It's yeah. like it hits. It's mm-hmm. serious. It's yeah. not a joke. Right, right. So prayer is wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is deeply comforting for so many people, including myself. But it can't be it. There, mm-hmm. You have to do wow. something about it. I just didn't know this about your belief i love it yeah it's a really I love just it out of ignorance i just thought it was much like christianity where we're like all very focused on pray like worshiping this god and all that god well, is great and but god gave us the bible now it's up to us what we're going to do with it god gave us this world now it's up to us yes. right <laughs> we have a phrase in hebrew loba shemaim he that the Bible is no longer in heaven. God gave it to us, and now it's up to us mm. to take care of the world. Mm. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So what's the difference between a pastor and a rabbi? Um, well, a rabbi is Jewish. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this might be expose a little bit of my ignorance, and maybe you can you can help educate yeah, me. Yeah, I got you. Um, to my understanding, a pastor has to take certain vows. Vows of celibacy, vows of poverty. Depending on the church. So that would okay. be more Catholic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Priest. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, so that's a huge difference. Yes. Rabbis don't take any of those vows. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I am married. Um, one day I will have children, <laughs> God willing. Um, I have a dog. Yeah. I don't yeah. think that has to do with anything, but I think who knows? I mean, know well, that. certain There's cultures. There's some weird places out there. Who knows? Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think at the end of the day, both a pastor and a rabbi are trying to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. They're trying to lead a community into acts of service, into living a moral and just life, Mm -hmm. and trying to 
what is it follow the golden rule be mm-hmm. kind to your neighbor mm-hmm. right well i think pastors are trying to make you focus on like not being an a-hole but also <laughs> giving money yeah there is at least in my experience in, again as someone who has left faith there is a big aspect to me that church is about how much money can we squeeze out of people yeah so that's not it for us yeah um i know that in a lot of churches you pass around the plate Mm -hmm. we don't do that no no do jewish people tithe at all no ah um okay yes no so (laughs) like okay so So it's it's hard when we're talking about judaism yeah i'm representing a certain denomination right right there are multiple different denominations, mm-hmm. and they all do things just slightly different. Right. So more Orthodox Jews, um, there is a tradition of tithing, okay. um, of giving 10%. It comes mm-hmm. from leaving the corners of your field bare for the stranger amongst mm-hmm. you. Um, Reformed Jews don't have that tendency. We do have membership dues. Okay. So people pay dues. Um, is it the same for everybody? Uh, it's on a pay what you can structure mm, okay um there is no embarrassment for the person that can only pay you know 18 dollars a month versus mm-hmm. the person that pays 500 dollars a month gotcha um it's there are more ways to contribute to a community than just right. money right um your time volunteering um and then we have certain fundraisers mm-hmm. of course that we're doing like our annual fundraiser for the congregation um, and then during the holidays, we'll do a fundraiser for the uh, Northeastern Food Bank. Mm-hmm. Um, so we do a lot of different ways, but no, we don't ask people for money gotcha. every week. So public outreach. Absolutely. What are things that Temple Israel is doing to help the community? So as I just mentioned, the food bank mm-hmm. drive, we yeah. just raised just nearly $60,000 for the wow. food bank. Wow. That's a lot of money. That's Way amazing. Go. Way yeah. to flex. <laughs> um, Congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. High we, five, everybody. <laughs> thank you. It, it does a lot of good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, food insecurity mm-hmm. is a major issue yeah. um, mm-hmm. in this neck of the woods. And so it's a passion of ours to, mm-hmm. to do what we can to help with that. Um, We also do a lot of drives. We pair up with a local school, the Marshall School, Mm -hmm. and we do school drives all the time for them to make sure that they have all the supplies they need for Mm -hmm. their school. Cool. Um, We just, whatever we can do to support the community. Right. We're we're out there doing whatever we can. We just did a park cleanup, Mm. which was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, oh, sorry. I was just going to say, imagine somebody moves to town who is Jewish and they show up and once they've, you know, proven that they're not crazy pants, they show up (laughs) and they say, I am in big trouble. I need help. We're about to get evicted or we have, you know, all this craziness going on. How can they come to you and get help? Absolutely. So this actually goes way back in history. There's a lot of different types of Jewish organizations Mm -hmm. that are set up to support the Jewish community, um, such as Jewish Family Services. Yeah. That's a great one. So whether that sort of financial aid comes directly from the temple Mm -hmm. or we're able to connect them with one of these organizations where they can get more specific direct aid, um, we're able to get them the help that they need. Awesome. Yeah good (laughs) that's a that's another again one of the things that led me out of the faith that i was born in was a very specific situation where someone showed up and said i need big help and the church said "Mm, you haven't been paying your tithing so we can't help you that is no that is not a thing yeah we we certainly get cold emails all the time about people needing help and Mm -hmm. there's a little bit of a desire of like who are you right we want you to be a part of our community because we don't have the most funds to be right. giving out, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars to yeah. anybody who asks. But, but. Um, certainly we are very connected with a lot of organizations that can offer right immense amount of support. Good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So to kind of wrap up. Yes. This has been fantastic, by the way. I've learned a lot. And I'm literally like. I've, Is your mind blown? I'm obs- like obsessed. So with, <laughs> with being, Same. yeah, with being like, if you don't know, and that's one of the reasons we're doing this, which yes. is fun because we're just like two regular Janes on the street, like yeah. hanging out. And I'm like, mm. let's do this. 
And yeah. now we get to learn so much and then share it with yes. other people that are listening. The hope is that our listeners who also don't have much exposure to Jewish people on their day-to-day life yeah. or don't know that they do or don't know anything about it can hear this and be like, oh... These, I'm not scary. Yeah, these no. people are just like me. Yeah. And it takes a little bit of the fear and a little bit of the sense of other out of the equation. The whole yeah. point of the show, the series and everything is just to like, look, humanize yeah. everybody. Like, I'm the same as anybody. Like, I can quote friends back ways and forwards, right? I just yeah. finished nice. Game of Thrones. Nice. Like, <laughs> I love to do art. Yeah. Um... You name it, I I am just like anything yeah. else. True crime, I could talk all day about it. Uh, we can start our own podcast. I'll <laughs> right. get with you later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm here for it. <laughs> so I see that you have a covering over your head. I Is do. Is that a pre- preference for you specifically? Yes. So I go back and forth mm-hmm. about what I like to wear on my head. Mm-hmm. Um, typically, Jews will wear what's called a kippah. Some people might have heard it as a yarmulke, mm-hmm. um, which is just like a little prayer hat. Actually, I have a whole basket right there. <laughs> oh, of them. Okay. I crochet them. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> um, but <laughs> they don't always fit my head the best because I have oh, a yeah. lot of hair. Yeah. Like, so much hair. Yeah. <laughs> and most of it's shaved, actually. Yeah, it I was going to say. It's I like shaved all the way around. Just then, coming out yeah. of your covering, there's so much curls. It's voluptuous it's and lovely. And it's just the top. The top. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some of us are blessed in different ways. <laughs> Not uh, all of us have that amount of hair. After this is done, I'll take it off. Yeah. But um, I like to do it when I'm in a very rabbinic role. Mm-hmm. Um, the point of the kippa, or it's called a kasui roche, like a, a head covering, is to remind you that you stop here and that mm. God is above you. Mm. Um, Interesting. So that it's it's a bit of an ego check for me. Mm-hmm. Um, That's much really like, like the Hinduism stuff is the, mm-hmm. the doing this and bowing in the way in Buddhism is, is they're showing mm-hmm. respect to the Buddha in you sure. is showing that respect. And then the ego drops here when I bow. Mm-hmm. You bow at your enemies even. Mm-hmm. Like it's just how you do it. And it's like an ego check. So I like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we have a lot of uh, ritual um, articles. So these are all my tally yeah. tote, my talits, mm-hmm. prayer shawls mm-hmm. that we use for during services. Well, I noticed on the door frames, there's a symbol yeah. on each door frame. Mm-hmm. Do you want to? That's called a mezuzah. Okay. Um, a mezuzah comes from the prayer vehafta, which you guys would know in Deuteronomy that says, love the your God with all your heart, yep. all your soul, all your might. Yep. Sorry, I know it a lot easier in Hebrew. Can and we hear it fine. in Hebrew? Macha, <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> that, was that was long. And it I was beautiful. It. That's actually the condensed version. <laughs> <laughs> no way. So, okay, you sang it. Yes. Yep. Ex- you should come talk more about this. Okay. So you just sang it. I sang it. And it's long. That is not no love your God with all your heart and soul. And that's it. And there's a lot there. And so I'm loving it. So, they have to add that on the other side. They have to add that on the other side. They have to add Love your God with all your heart, yeah. with all your soul, with all your might. Mm-hmm. That is just that part. Yeah. And then and you then said a bunch of other stuff, I'm that's sure. That's the rest of the Yeah, the rest paragraph. of the Which it. is so cool. Yeah. So, okay, so you, you sing it. You sing it because when you read Torah, it's called trope. Mm-hmm. There's, like, different ways that you say each word because Torah was originally read in the marketplace. Okay. Mm. And so it's sung to help you remember that's how so the, good. to say it that's because smart. it used to be said in front of everybody. Wow. And it's storytelling. Very cool. You have a lovely singing voice, too. Yeah, you thank you. <laughs> so this was all to, thank you. Yeah. So this was all to say, in the mezuzah is the vehafta. It uh-huh. begins with the Shema, which is our affirmation of faith. Okay. Um, Hero Israel, Adonai is your God, Adonai is one. 
Um, and then it goes into the Veja Hafta. Okay. And in the Veja Hafta, it says that you should put this on the doorposts of your mm-hmm. homes and on your gates. And so we quite literally put it on our doorposts. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. As just like a, a symbol, a reminder. To remember God's laws. Yeah. So as you go into any doorway, you're supposed to touch it and kiss it. Oh. Very so cool. you do that? Do I do that or do, <laughs> do you do that? Um, my spouse actually does it more than I do. Yeah. Um, touch a doorway. And- touch the mezuzah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, that's just my ADHD. Good to know. <laughs> I, yeah, like, I get it. totally tune it out sometimes and yeah. forget. Um, but I am lucky that my job gives me a lot of opportunity to remember God's laws. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have other, I have other nice. opportunities. Nice. Nice. Very cool. I never knew that. I've seen that before. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Very this cool. This is fun. I'm having a great <laughs> I time. I keep going. There's so much. I know. Oh, I there's wish... so much. There's so, it's such a, there's such, like you said earlier, it's a culture and a religion. Yeah. And so and there's so much. And it's a so rich much... history. Mm-hmm. And there's Hebrew. Yeah. And so you've learned this other language. Mm-hmm. Well, is it the first language? <laughs> that sounds funny. I'm sorry. I'm sure you knew English. But so my name is Zvia, which yeah. a lot of people are then like, First of all, what is that? And I was like, it's a name. Yeah. And then they're like, no, like, what ethnicity is that? Uh, yeah. Right? And I was like, oh, that's a different question. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, <laughs> it's Hebrew. Um, what you meant to ask was this. <laughs> right. Um, it depends how snarky I'm being that day. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, uh, I was born in the States. English mm-hmm. is my first language. I didn't really start learning Hebrew until I was in high school. Cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. I that's, went to a Jewish day school. Yeah, okay. That's the terminology used for a private school, a Jewish private school in high school. Mm-hmm. So cool. in a service. So in a Sunday, or Friday service. Friday. Yep. Mm-hmm. So Shabbat is Friday evening to Saturday right. evening. Right. Okay. So is it mostly English and then y'all read? Um, it's scene? definitely a mix. Each okay. congregation is going to do a little bit differently. Um, more Orthodox will be like 90% Hebrew. Wow. <laughs> like maybe even more than that. Um, conservative will be maybe 75, 25, 75 on the Hebrew. Mm-hmm. Um, in Reform, we're closer to 50, 50. Okay. So do you know, like, are you fluent? I wouldn't say I'm fluent, but I, I can hold my own. Heck yeah. I can I shop mean, very well in Israel. You live in I Israel, so. And I can haggle yeah. very oh, well in nice. Yeah. That's a whole skill. I love that. Oh, yeah. Love it. I don't pay retail. No, thank nice. you. Nice. <laughs> Nice. It's just a rule of thumb for me. I have a good thrifting moment. So what, it, briefly, what does a typical Sabbath look like for your congregation? Um, Great question. So <laughs> <laughs> everything's a little different. Yeah. Um, so it depends if we're reading Torah that mm-hmm. week or not. Um, typically, you do read Torah on Shabbat. Um, but because we are a smaller congregation, we don't do it every week. Okay. Um, but if we are doing a Torah service, we have introductory prayers. It's called Kabbalat Shabbat, which is used to sort of get you in the spirit. Because when you mm-hmm. enter a sanctuary, yeah. you might not always be ready. Yeah. yeah. So we have like a lot of different songs that we do that sort of get you prepared and ready to pray. Then we have the mandatory prayers, prayers that we're supposed to say. Mm -hmm. Um, Then we have some time for like some silent meditation. Um, Then we go into our Torah service where we read from the Torah. Um, Then typically a sermon is given or a drash, drash or devar. There's a lot of words that are used is just like a word of Torah. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we do the prayer for healing. Mm -hmm. And then we go into our concluding prayers, announcements, and then we eat. Yay. Every time. There's always food. Oh, love that. Um, if it's an earlier service, we eat beforehand. If it's a later service, we eat after. Mm-hmm. There's always food because we like food. Yeah. Is there somebody who's like their whole job is just the food or does everybody sort of <laughs> contribute? Or She probably wouldn't want me to say that it is her job. But yes, there's one person who's like very much in charge of yes. making sure we have the good food. Yes. Nice. Um, There's, like, a food associated with every Jewish holiday. Nice. Um, And so... Or a lack of food. Like, food is a big part of our culture. Yum. So, (laughs) I'm trying to figure out how to word this. So, how... So, you're seeing someone on the street, or you just... Okay, like, for a listener listening, what is something you want them to know about you, your... your, the For Temple Israel and Judaism? Another big question. Yeah, we're on And it's got to be like one to two sentences. Like my elevator pitch, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, 
first off, I would say, say hi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Say hi. I'm not scary. Mm-hmm. I, you're not, you're I'm, not, you're a very non-threatening person. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> In fact, I'm, I think I'm funny. So like, yeah, come, absolutely. come ask me for a joke and I'll yeah. give you one. <laughs> um, but more off, I would love to have a conversation about your religion. Mm-hmm. As long as you're willing to have a conversation yeah. about mine, yep. you are not going to convert me. I am sorry. I've like chosen my path. Yeah. Um, so please don't try to proselytize. Mm-hmm. I won't do the same to you. Mm-hmm. But if you want to have a conversation about your religion, like, great, let's have an open dialogue. Just be respectful and be open right. to the conversation. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, we like that here. Right? Like, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I've heard enough in my life that I'm going to hell. I've heard enough in my life that... Yeah. Like, Ugh. I should go to Christianity and that it's okay that I'm a rabbi. Jesus was a Jew. Like, these, I can... Stop. Yeah, there's, stop. There's so much. So much has stop. happened. <laughs> I've been handed New Testaments more times than I can uh, imagine. <laughs> Seriously, yes. Yeah, what do you do with them? <laughs> I feel really bad. I don't know what... I typically yeah. try to give it back or okay, I, like, hand it to good. somebody else. Yeah. Because, like, I don't want to throw it away because I know it's important to you guys. But it's, I throw it's them not away. for me. You do. Yeah. I will toss it away. When I get a lot of, I don't get it as much anymore, like random people on the street, but you know, you get like, yeah, the, people, the, the uh, what are they called? The Jehovah's Witnesses. No, the, 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 the I want to call them something, but they're not that called. I just don't worry about it. It's fine. Okay. The Gideons. Oh. So I try yes. to, I try to be respectful and in turn, I hope I'm getting the same yeah. respect. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Right. And like, yeah. please come see what we're about, mm-hmm. but don't. Don't look at us mm-hmm. as, like, performers. You're not like, a circus act. We're not a circus act, yeah. right? We have a decent amount of people that want to come visit us because, oh, this was how Jesus did things. That That's not that's not it. Mm-hmm. That, that's not it. That's not what we're here for. <laughs> Love to engage you in conversation, but we're, we're not a circus act. So, like, act. how do you feel about people saying, was... This is so dumb of me. I'm sorry. Was Jesus... <laughs> crucified in israel no um i think it was in caesarea was it Ju- See, no, well, no 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 because the well, the tomb was church of the holy sepulchre is in jerusalem yeah so i think it was right there it's yeah. in jerusalem i, think, I believe yeah, so I, I think it was on you just so when you're in israel you don't really focus on the jesus aspect i know that's i have so certainly funny. gone to the church of Se- the holy sepulchre several okay. times okay i have walked through the christian quarter of the yeah. old city mm-hmm. of jerusalem many times I have had many conversations with Christians yeah. in Jerusalem because I used to walk the streets a lot because I love a good walk. Yeah. Um, and I would have a bunch of people be like, how do you get to so-and-so? And I'd be like, oh, yeah, you just yeah. Let me go this way and that way. Left, right. Left. Right. <laughs> um, but no. All right. I, I think people who are listening who maybe don't know, you know, we've talked about history of Jewish, yeah. you know, anti-Semitism. We talked about the even just some of the festivals and the, yeah. the holidays that mm-hmm. you have. I think... The best thing you can do is go educate yourself. Go, yes, go look up, you know, find somebody online who's telling you what this is and what this means and learn about it because that's the only way we're going to go forward in this planet. Absolutely. One of our nicknames is we're the people of the book. Mm. Read a book. We have yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. So there's a whole library here. It's a beautiful library. Yes. Biggest <laughs> Jewish library in Oklahoma. Ooh, congrats. And tomorrow's a holiday, so yes. so I would love to have you guys come. Yes. That'd be Check fun. it out. See what we're all about. We're going to try to, for yes. sure. It's, no it's, promises, yes. but I want It's to. like one of our party days. We have a couple of party <laughs> I'm days. I'm not for a good party. Yeah, it's, that sounds great. <laughs> free food, party. There'll be glow sticks. Life will be great. Hey. Yeah. Sounds you had fantastic. me at glow sticks and food. You had me at free food. Party. <laughs> right? All right. right. Fine. We'll go. Okay. <laughs> but... Thank yeah. you again for letting us share about Judaism and just to get to know you more. It's so yes. fun and special. It's been a delight. Yes. The one question we try to ask everybody oh, yeah. that we have been, we keep forgetting recently oh, a lot. <laughs> right. But where do you personally, not necessarily what the religion dictates or what you're supposed to say, where do you personally think you're going, where, where do we go when we die? Oh, where do we go when we die? Oh, that question. Judaism does not talk about death that much. Mm-hmm. We really don't. Hmm. Um, we're really focused on the here and now, which makes talking about death an incredibly awkward conversation yeah. in Judaism. <laughs> okay. when people ask, Sorry. I don't <laughs> like talking about it. No, it's, me out. No, it's great. I'm, I'm okay, okay for it. it. <laughs> but the hesitation that you're sensing on my end is, yes. is just because yeah. 
in Judaism, we, we just don't have like the most amount of conversations about it. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that when we die, I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) That's a good answer. You're allowed to say that. I think that something happens with our soul. Mm. I think our body deteriorates. We feed the worms. Life is great. Sure. Um, don't tell my spouse that because it's like their biggest fear. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> they want to be a tree. We know how you can do that. Right? Mm-hmm. There's an episode, uh-huh. uh, Return Home. Yeah, they but compost then. Compost your body. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I just want to snuggle my spouse for the rest of my life. Yes. Forever and ever. Probably write that in a, in a <laughs> directive somewhere. Like, right? You know, um, wrap around each other. No, I think our <laughs> soul, I don't necessarily believe in reincarnation. Mm-hmm. There is some like Mm -hmm. very obscure parts of Judaism that talk about that. Mm -hmm. Um, But I do believe that our soul, I don't know. Something (laughs) happens with our soul. That's the best I got (laughs) It's not the end. It's not the end. Yeah, because there's the ingathering of Jews Mm -hmm. in Olam Haba in the world to come. (sighs) Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's okay. Yeah. You're allowed to not know. I, That's yeah. the beauty of life. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only it's the only answer we'll never get. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> it stresses her out a little bit. <laughs> it's the only answer that can never be proven. Yeah. Yeah, I have issues with that. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's that. fine. I <laughs> think we go somewhere. I haven't figured out what that is, but she thinks we don't go anywhere. Yeah. And I'm like... It actually brings me a lot of comfort. Freaks me out. <laughs> the idea... But again, I have a very here and now mindset yeah. and so the idea it that does I, help yeah the idea mm-hmm. that i'm i'm living for today and tomorrow and my family now and the community now and and i get one shot and i my goal is to do my best and mm-hmm. live my life so that you know when i die the world is a better place because i'm in it and that's so, it that's exactly what you're... judaism's approach is yeah focus on the here and now yeah but then you're not in it and that's sad. that's okay I'm that's dead. All. I don't know. I'm but dead. You know what? In Judaism, <laughs> we have a lot of ways of memorializing the yeah. the deceased. There is that mindset of yeah. of even if I'm dead and my soul doesn't go on, but my memory, my memories, family, yeah. my people who knew me, and my legacy of doing good does go on. So in Judaism, uh, at least in Ashkenazi Judaism, which is mm-hmm. Eastern European Judaism, mm-hmm. we have a tendency to name after the recently departed. Mm-hmm. So I am named after my great-grandfather, mm-hmm. whose Hebrew name was Svi. Mm-hmm. So there's like a part of you that continues. Yeah. 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 You look still very uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I love <laughs> this aspect. <laughs> You're like no over We've here. We've had this conversation like, okay, so many times. times, but I'm like, it's yeah. just I'm too vain. I need to continue on. <laughs> there needs to be if, something else after. If this. you go first, this I'll put like a little. Yeah, right? yeah, it will. And if you go first, I'll put like a plaque somewhere. No, like a me, <laughs> not my memory. That too. Well, your voice you can fine. haunt me. It's fine. <laughs> Just be a be a We're, ghost. We almost died together in a car accident. And I was like, "How funny is this? <laughs> we could have died together, and then I'd have been like, see." We're still going on. <laughs> I would have been down. like, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but anyways. There'd be a person or two who I would haunt, but like annoyingly oh, yeah. haunt to be yeah. like, yes. ha, ha, ha. Nah, 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 I that's, the, you. that's the only reason I want existence to go on is if I get to be a very obnoxious ghost. Like the well, kind I'm like that's very like, like spooky girl, basic white girl, like mm-hmm. October. Yeah. I was watching the new Haunted Mansion last night. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. How'd it go? Uh, my spouse fell asleep, so we have to okay. so we had a snack. Watching it start. It over. No, we're gonna continue, all right? But uh, no, it's very good. Yeah. Um. So spooky. I'm here mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. Me be too. A ghost. Me too. So, do you think there are any ghosts in Temple Israel? <laughs> <gasps> there's certainly ghosts of something. Um, yes. Yeah. No, I don't think that there's. I thought there was a door that closed by itself yesterday, and that was <gasps> really weird. Um, yeah. No, I don't think so. I think that there's do y'all just. Like- gusts of wind yeah (laughs) do y'all believe in like demons no (laughs) judaism is so big there are aspects (laughs) of judaism that do um we believe that lilith might have been Mm -hmm. a 
demon. She's like our feminist icon. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. Think she's of a like, demon. Yeah. Think oh, of like I know Sabrina, the yeah. teenage oh, witch, the new, the new show. Yes. Um, there are versions of ooky spookies in yeah. Judaism. We have something called the golem, which is a clay monster um, mm. that is that comes out of uh, Poland to help protect Jews against anti-Semitism. Interesting. Um, cool. We have something called the Dybbuk. We have... Uh, we have a lot of ooky spookies. I love, I love the word ooky spooky. Ooky spookies. I yeah. love it. Listen, love if the Bible spooky. says don't engage in witchcraft, it means that there was witchcraft. So, like, yeah, yeah. it exists. Even though we what? could talk about the ways that Christianity engages in witchcraft, witchcraft all the time, but <laughs> it's a whole other broadcast. <laughs> so, do you guys talk to, like, say, like, don't play with dark forces? I don't know. No. Okay. I cool. was the kid who had the Ouija board. Yay! And I was freaking my, everybody out. Absolutely. Yeah. Scares me to death. We do it every Halloween. It's I'm so pretty fun. good with dowsing rounds. Nice. Yeah? yeah? I've tried them, and I was looking at them, and was like, I'm doing this myself on accident, and I know it. It's okay. I created my own tarot deck. Ooh. You're cute. Did you I have paint a... Every, or I art? did um, a collage, and it's a Jewish tarot deck. <gasps> so cool. Perfect. I have a tarot deck it. that's a labyrinth. Ooh. Like David they think Lewis. that... There's one school of thought that says that tarot comes from the word Torah. Oh, that kind of, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap this up, but yes. we could talk for hours. Yes. Obviously. <laughs> but thank you everybody for listening and giving thank this you. episode a chance. Thank yes. you for being here. Thank you for allowing us to sit in your office and yes. be in the tem- in Temple Israel. This is a gift. Mm. Guys, get out of your comfort zone Talk Absolutely. to some someone who's not like you and learn it's it with you. with an open mind and Absolutely. an open heart, with yeah. love, with compassion, and with an understanding that it's not we're not trying to change anybody's mind. We're just no. sharing. So, yeah. with all that being said, we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>